Do you know what a distracted driver looks like because your mom's pointed it out to you? Yeah, because their head might be down like this, looking at their phones like that and looking up. Well, just weeks ago, ABC 15's Megan Thompson rode along with a Valley mother-daughter duo using their car rides to start conversations about distracted driving. Well, Megan got a text from them recently that was surprising. They were in a crash saying that it was something or someone, I should say, not paying attention behind the wheel. It's an all new Operation Safe Roads report. Here are some of the pictures that were sent to be showing the damage to that back end of the vehicle. Thankfully, it wasn't too bad. Mom Carly shocked by how ironic it all is. Daughter Georgia saying we were just on the news telling people not to do this. So it got me wondering, why do we do this texting and driving? We are very aware of the dangers. I sat down with an ASU researcher to go inside the mind of a distracted driver. You know, we, what we look at is kind of what humans are good at and what we're not good at. Rob Gray is a professor at Arizona State University and the undergraduate program chair in human systems engineering. It's really about applying psychology to kind of real world issues. And one of the issues he has studied extensively, distracted driving, because it's a problem that is truly preventable. This isn't a disease, right? It's something we created to make our lives better and it's killing us, right? So I really wanted to try to kind of address this and you know, how can we make it safer for people? Rob says, as sad as it sounds, a core reason behind distraction-fueled crashes, a dull drive. And the quote I like to use is, driving is hours and hours of boredom mixed with moments of terror. Most of the time, your morning commute is mundane, the same as always. But it's when you get too comfortable that something dangerous can happen. So what is the solution? While automated vehicles may be the way of the future, we're still far off. Rob says technology still needs to keep advancing, even beyond some of the Bluetooth technology in newer cars. He says continued education is important too. Learning firsthand through driving schools or simulation that you can't actually text and drive as well as you think you can. Let's start having those conversations about why it's important to drive responsibly, why it's important that that text can wait. You can pull over. Something Carly Baez touched on too when I was in the passenger seat with her, daughter Georgia, listening in the back. Carly has created a community challenge for 30 minutes. You're asked to turn up the volume on your phone and place them face up in your lap. You can do anything but respond to your phone in any way. How does that make you feel? What are you really missing out on in that time? It could be a great activity to do with the family. We posted the full instructions and more resources at abc15.com roads.